Apple Vision Pro. The Apple Vision Pro. It's about using the Apple Vision Pro for the- Try out the Vision Pro now. Even if you have no plans of getting one, the Apple Vision Pro will inevitably affect you and the entire tech industry. So let's just think about this. What is the most commonly used piece of technology that we have right now? I mean, that's obviously our mobile phones, right? But phones in general, like, are way past their peak. The amount of innovation that you're gonna get on your phone is like so minimal. For example, I just got the iPhone 15 in preparation for the Apple Vision Pro. And before that, I was using the 12 Pro Max. Like between these two phones, there's such a minimal amount of difference. At a certain point, you just like max out a certain piece of technology. And as a species, we're all going to keep looking for the next piece of technology. So what is that going to look like? And in my opinion, it's going to be wearable tech, you know, something like an Apple Watch where it's really easy to use and it's and it's more integrated into your everyday life. Because I'm sure I'm not the only one that like hates dropping their phone on their face when scrolling through videos at night. So we're now in a position of trying to figure out what is that next piece of tech? Is it going to be a headset like the Apple Vision Pro, or is it going to be augmented reality? And if I'm gonna be honest, I actually think it will be both. I think there'll be space for both, but maybe Apple is just going on the Apple Vision Pro route for now. And eventually there'll also be an augmented reality glasses route. A lot of people are saying that the Apple Vision Pro is ugly or that it looks weird but when the airpods first came out like no one thought that they were cute i mean they look like q-tips sticking out of your ears but now they're considered like a status symbol and i think that's what apple does really well is they do marketing really well and they somehow make products that look a little bit weird all of a sudden be very very cool which is going to be a huge shift for the entire xr industry and for those people that are kind of new to the space xr just means extended reality meaning both augmented reality and virtual reality just combined and also mixed reality but now that apple's entering the xr space or spatial computing everyday people and major news outlets are starting to talk about augmented reality and virtual reality. For example, I was actually watching a couple of videos today on YouTube about the Apple Vision Pro. Um, I watched this one by uh, Brian Tong and in the comments thing, there people are leaving comments like how it would be cool if Apple partnered with NFL and NBA. Imagine watching live games at home that feels like you're sitting courtside. They also said things like, you know what would be crazy? If we could watch the live keynotes in VR, like we're physically there in the front row. And the really crazy part about these comments is all of this stuff already exists. Like you can do these things in VR on like the MetaQuest headsets. But the people that are commenting on this video are people that are just not in the industry at the moment because the industry has been known so much for like gaming. But now these everyday people that aren't gamers are thinking and saying the same exact things that all of us people that have been in this industry for so long have been thinking and saying. So I think that part's really exciting. And to that point, Apple's focus for this headset is not at all gaming. It is focused on like practical uses that everyday people can do. It's really shifting the industry that is has always been heavily gaming and gamer centric to now an a product that can be used by the everyday person for everyday things. And a major reason for this is that the Apple Vision Pro headset is actually really different from any other headset that's ever been out on the market before. Like every single standalone headset, meaning a headset that's not plugged into a computer in order to run and you can use it by itself. Every single standalone headset that's out there uses a mobile chip, a mobile chip meaning the processors that are in your phone. The Apple Vision Pro is the first headset that's a fully blown computer. I mean, it uses the M2 chip, which is the chip that's in the MacBook Pro, which means that you can use the Apple Vision Pro headset as your laptop. Now, I've seen a lot of things online of people saying that the Apple Vision Pro is really heavy and that they can't see themselves wearing it for extended periods of time. And OK, fair enough. Like this is the first iteration of this headset and you know, in subsequent iterations, I'm sure it'll get more sleek, better balanced, just like the MetaQuest headsets have. On that note, you know, people don't really sit at their computer like the whole day nonstop. You're usually taking a break. You're taking a coffee break. You're taking a bathroom break. You're taking a lunch break or you're taking a break from your computer to go on your phone and to scroll. So it's the same thing, right? Like sometimes I'm working on my computer. Sometimes I'm working on my phone. 
with the Apple Vision Pro, I don't think it's really at the moment intended to be used like nonstop for like eight hours straight. I think it's more so you use it for a little bit. Maybe you switch to your phone, maybe you switch to your computer, at least at the moment, but maybe in future iterations, maybe you can use it for everything. Um, and hopefully that will be the goal. Maybe in the future, we won't need computers and we won't need phones because whatever that headset is, is going to be so compact, so easy to use that it just replaces all these other pieces of technology that we have. And again, I know a lot of people said that they're probably not going to get this headset and that's again that's okay but if we think about the xr industry as a whole one of the biggest barriers to entry or like friction points is just how confusing it is again it's been built by gamers for gamers so if i was to give you know my my quest headset to my mom or or even just a friend that's not a gamer and i give them that controller it's not intuitive it's just you know, it's very confusing for someone who doesn't play games and doesn't use controllers often. But what Apple does really well is they make products very user friendly, very intuitive. And that's exactly what they're doing with the Apple Vision Pro. Again, I haven't tried it and I will be trying it and getting it as soon as it comes out. So make sure you are subscribed so you can see when that video comes out. But the key here is that Apple will innovate how we interact with a wearable technology like the Vision Pro headset which is in basically a laptop on your head. And as this innovation continues, like even though you may not be getting this headset today, the products you use in the next couple of years could look completely different. It could completely replace your phone. It could completely replace your computer, but only time will tell. So what do you think? Do you think that the Apple Vision Pro is an important piece of tech, a revolutionary piece of tech? Or do you think that this is just a fad that's going to fade away and if you think that, then what do you think is the next big piece of technology? All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.